Hi guys! Hello! Hello! Welcome back to another Milling Monday! After a couple of weeks of doing other live streams. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, that's our colleague Stefan, just uh, on his way home from work. Uh, so, welcome back. We are looking forward uh, to doing these uh, Monday, Milling Monday live streams again. Uh, today we are going to um, build a log table uh, in front of our bandsaw mill that we have in the uh, saw house. We're going to use the B751 Pro and we are going to use the log molder uh, 400, the LM410 to make a nice rounded top on the uh, logs that will be the top of the uh, log table. So hopefully uh, that's going to be really interesting. We had a really interesting uh, Swedish live stream uh, just half an hour ago. And Where Anders, you will run your chainsaw in. Hello, chainsaw as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Anders will run the <laughs> chainsaw and the tractor. Yeah. The wheel, the wheel loader. Mm. Yes. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And hopefully you have some uh, really good questions as well. Uh, please ask them in the chat and we'll try to answer to all of them. Yes. And you can write both on uh, Facebook and YouTube chats. Perfect. If you are interested in Logosold and our products, uh, you can go uh, to our homepage, visit logosold.com to find pricing and more information. You can find us on social media as well, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. Just search for Logosold Portable Sawmills. Give us a like, hit subscribe or follow us on Instagram. And what do you call it? When you tag someone? Mm -hmm. If you uh, have a Lugosult product and a cool project, tag us in the Instagram post, for example. Yes. Or on Facebook. It's great to see old projects. I mean, now is time for milling. I see you when you go to Instagram or Facebook, you see more and more stuff from Lugosul owners yes. all around the world, which is really cool and fun to, to see. You can make so many different projects with our machines. That's fantastic. So... Should we say something about this fantastic coffee table that we yeah. have? Yeah, we made last Sunday. Yes. I think it was. The time uh, limit of uh, three and a half hours. Yes. Yes. Milling, planing. But, but then you, you, you did it when between Andreas was talking, so I only have 15 minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Around 15 minutes, something. <laughs> okay. so, so, what machines did you use? The same equipment that we're going to use today, but we make the surface just planing. It's very so. smooth and nice. Yeah. <laughs> and also this big uh, tabletop. Yeah, this is from the yeah. white slab. Yeah. That we used. It's fantastic. We, yeah. And it's fantastic that you managed to do it in time. Yeah. So you got your coffee but yeah, in yes, the I end. Yeah, the coffee in gold. Mm -hmm. so that's and, and so for good that. for us to sit here today with the coffee and yeah, yeah. have this live stream. It's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, we can have the live streams just... By the, yeah, by the coffee table then. from now on. No, let's uh, do some milling. Yeah. Uh, should we start <laughs> with the video? Yes, of course. Perhaps, Perhaps yeah. we should. We have a video uh, showing a new product, a coming product from Logosol, which is a kit uh, that you can um, use to build your own log table.
Ja, den vanligaste frågan vi får när vi är ute och demonstrerar solsågen. Men kanske speciellt när folk ringer till oss och är intresserade av, av ett eget sågverk. Det är just den här frågan, hur får jag upp stocken på, på sågen? Då svarar vi alltid att det är bra om man bygger någon form av stockbord. Att man inte har virket liggande på marken och försöker lyfta det rakt upp på, på, på sågen. Och de flesta av våra kunder förr eller senare så har de något sorts arrangemang där de, de har byggt någonting så de får upp, kan rulla upp stocken på sågverket eller kan lasta från traktorn ner på en så ett stockbord av något slag som, som ger den där arbetshöjden. Vi har gjort ett stockbord här. Det är fortfarande ett, ett, en konstruktion i trä. Men vi har gjort ett antal beslag som gör att det blir enkelt att, om man vill tillverka ett sånt här stockbord själv. Det som är bra med den här, det är ju att vi har satt rullar här på bordet som gör att man lätt kan förskjuta stocken i, stå, i, i längsled. Det kan vara lite jobbigt om man bara har den liggande på en, en, ett, ett stockbord utan rullar. Men här är det väldigt lätt att förskjuta stocken i olika, i det läge man vill ha den. Speciellt om man har virke som är nästan nästan lika långt som sågverket, då är det ju viktigt att stocken hamnar i precis rätt position. Ja, de här stockrullarna kan man också köpa separat. Och det kan ju vara intressant om man vill förflytta virket en längre sträcka. Det är samma konstruktion som på det kompletta stockbordet, men vill man kanske komma undan med en liten enklare lösning kan man köpa bara rullarna. Antingen kan de sitta så här, och det är ju bra om man har till exempel en lång bana som man vill förskjuta plank och brädor eller stockar på. Men man kan också sätta den så här. Och det kanske är en bra, det kan vara en bra lösning om man vill bygga ett stockbord åt sig själv. Så det här är en lösning som man kan ha och man kan köpa de här bestagen och och bygga sitt sågverk med hjälp av dem och då, eller sin stock, sitt stockbord och då får man ett riktigt bra stockbord. Men man kan också bygga någonting i stil med det här. För det är viktigt att man får upp stocken från marken innan det ska, innan det ska sågas. Den här lösningen kan både vara inspiration till ett eget, helt eget bygge eller ni kan Köpa de här beslagen och göra resten i trä själv. So that's the new coming product from uh, Lugosol and watch out in on online or uh, keep posted by signing up for our newsletter to be the first to find out when we launch it. So it's an easy to use do-it-yourself kit to build your own log table perfectly for a chainsaw mill and helps out a lot. Should be every chainsaw miller's first uh, project. A very good first project. Yeah, easy to do and helps out a lot. Uh, when using the chainsaw mills. So, but on today's uh, stream, we are going to build a um, quite easy log table, easy to build log table as well, uh, but more adapted to the B751 Pro uh, that we have standing under the, under the roof. Uh, so it's going to be a bit lower and with the same height as the uh, rails on the B751 Pro. Uh, so it's a simple construction. We will have two uh, 
two beams in the bottom and two beams on top of them um, where we put the logs and some sort of system where we can fold or attach another plank that we can use as the um, ah, a ramp, a ramp, ramp maybe. between yeah. the log table and the bandsaw <coughs> mill. Let's go with ramp. Yeah, ramp, it sounds good. So, but anyway, now we're going to use the uh, sawmills. Yes. We have waited for a long time to be able to use the sawmills again. <laughs> Too long, perhaps. Because according to Anders, I, I, I'm unable to mill straight anymore. <laughs> so Maybe let's straight. It will be exciting to see what happens. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I think you, if you can just cut it in half. So, then so we... let's see if I've learned from my mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this um, cant that we have here is roughly 12 inches high. And the, um, uh, the uh, task is to split it in half. So we get two six inch cans. Yes. But since it is 12 inch already, it, the cans won't be exactly six inch. They no. be, they'll be less than six inch. So we'll see what we can uh, do about that. So uh, the machine we have here is the B751 Pro uh, on trailer kit. One extra extension um, we also have the tow board and we have the log clamps XL, uh, which consists of these sturdier and bigger log clamps and also uh, um, log supports on the other side. Good. If you cut it in half, I will, I think we'll fix some other things. Yeah, I'll try to, yeah. to cut it in half. So let's see if it is actually 12 inches high. Almost 12 inches. It's always difficult when you're about to split something in half, depending on the size of the, the curve. But I think we're good like that. So each, each cant will be roughly five and Five inches and seven eighths. Yeah, I think that's good. Is that we, good, Anders? Yeah, yeah. Do you approve? I yes, I do. It's better this time, anyway. You will measure. Yeah. Afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you can. I mean, if something goes wrong, you can always blame me. Yeah. <laughs> I would say that's perfect. Yeah, I see it's perfect. So, what's next? 
take one on here. Mm -hmm. We can actually, I think we can push this against it. Oh yeah. Good. Very good. This is called like square milling. <laughs> yeah. You don't lift anything unnecessary. Yes, a very good idea, Colin. If you take the uh, portable camera, we can show a bit up close. More, more, higher, higher, higher. higher. Oh, hey, Dada. Hey, what's, hey that, what's that in English? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> uh, so this is the LM410. Uh, it's got a 410 millimeter cutter head in there. And if we look underneath of it, you can see the molding knives. Uh, that we have fixed in the cutter head over there. So we're just going to do these uh, round profiles on the on the cans here. So, but this uh, with this uh, cutter head, you can do straight planing up to 600, 600 millimeters wide on the B751 Pro and up to 800 millimeters wide on the B1001. Uh, if you watched the uh, previous uh, live stream, the open house, uh, Anders used the uh, log molder to just plane the planks and then cut them off the off the can, and then we used them right away with one plane surface. So, but anyway, now Anders is going to remove quite a lot of material on the top of that can to make it, to give it a nice smooth. Uh, around the top. Yes. Go for it. Super nice. nice. Way. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> See you next time. Good height. Yeah, very good height. <laughs> very good fit to yeah. the uh, Banso mill.
One more time. Yeah, hit it. Good. Good. We're done. Almost. Almost. I'm gonna attach them to the beams on the ground. Mm -hmm. Take up with a chainsaw so it gets a little bit more stable. Yeah, okay. So you're gonna make grooves in those uh, beams in the bottom. Yes. Uh, so they fit in there and then between the Make a the log table and the, the frame of the bandsaw mill. Yes. Some sort of loading ramps. Yes. Because, I mean, you want to have it free so over walk. here because you're walking yeah. on this side. But, of course, something to put there when you want to load another uh, log on there. Super. This is a really premium log table. So nice. Yeah. <laughs> It's easy to roll the logs when you have this rounded edge, you know, nothing gets mm. stuck. You plan for everything. Oh, oh it's fantastic. It's, uh, <laughs> it's easy to do when you have the machines. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I fix here for a while, as usual. As usual. Well, you're doing all the hard work. Yes, we have a hi from Slovakia, our friend Radoslav, Oleksa. Ah, hi. hello, hello Rado. Nice to see that you are watching our live streams. Great. I hope you are doing well and that the sales in Slovakia is doing good. Okay, and we have a first question. Uh, hi, when will the hydraulics for the B1001 be available in Germany? Uh, the hydraulics, we estimate to launch them uh, closer to the end of this year. So in quarter four. Yes. And the Wi-Fi is a bit slow. Check. And we also want to take the time to remind you about the ongoing campaign. If you visit lugosul.com, you can find all the campaign prices uh, online in the web shop. You can also uh, download the PDF or scroll through the uh, PDF directly on the home page. So a great campaign with some great offers. Uh, you get vouchers when purchasing uh, a sawmill. 
Yes. So uh, both from the uh, timber jig with guide rail package up to the banso mills, you get a voucher of a value up to 450 euros. And that voucher uh, can be used to purchase accessories, cutting equipment, everything you can imagine in... in uh, together with the Together with the yeah. exactly. Or, uh, or uh, I mean, uh, you can buy uh, 10 caps if you like for, for the value. And you also, of course, in the cap, yeah. you also get a cap for free when you purchase a sawmill from Logosol. These uh, nice looking caps. So that's Anders doing uh, what he loves most, running a chainsaw, <laughs> doing his small uh, projects. Yes. <laughs> but summarize the campaign, check out the campaign on the website. Uh, great, uh, a great campaign offers if you buy uh, a sawmill, chainsaw mill, bandsaw mill, uh, get a voucher and purchase other accessories or cutting equipment or log handling equipment together with your sawmill purchase. And if you already have a sawmill from Logosol, check out all the other great offers. Uh, we have uh, campaign prices on the log holder XL, for example, extensions for the chainsaw mills, etc. Yes. So uh, it's not only for the ones that want to purchase their first sawmill, but also for the ones that already have a sawmill and want to purchase accessories for it. Absolutely. So go check it out. Go to lugusol.com. The camp campaign is valid until May 24th. Fourth. And on the website, you can also find all contact details to us and to dealers and distributors uh, all around the globe. Yes, if you uh, choose the country up in the right corner, uh, if we have a dealer or distributor where you are, you will find their contact details uh, on the web page. Uh, 
Otherwise, you'll see the contact details to the Lugosul headquarters here in Sweden. And you are welcome to call or email us as well. If you want to email us, you can email to info at logosul.com. I think Anders is doing something really like special. I've never seen that kind of construction before. <laughs> Where he's uh, like building the ramps into the end of the of the logs that we molded. Wow, that was yeah, that was some pretty advanced uh, <laughs> cutting. I mean, okay, so you did uh, very nice. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm impressed. So you actually lock them in position by doing that. And you made a notch over there so it won't slide back and slide. forth. Yes. So these are quite easy to just remove when you're using the, uh, the sawmill. And then when you're loading or unloading a log. So perhaps we can just try and yeah, unload this one. So easy. So easy. And then you With a really simple do-it-yourself yeah. log table that we built from 
not scrap wood, but <laughs> leftovers. <laughs> leftovers. <laughs> Cans that we had yeah. uh, lying around. Ah, ah uh, you should have had the same Think, yeah, width as the length of these. You yeah. can just next put them in there next time. Next table. Next, next log table. Yeah. Oh, really nice. Well done. And you got to play around with the chainsaws. Well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I could see that you were enjoying that. So let's go back to Colin and see if we have any questions. Well done. Looks great. Yeah. It was a little bit easier when the measurements was right. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was probably one of the best log tables I've ever seen. Yeah. Yes. Very well thought out and uh, well designed and everything. It'll be very useful in, yeah, yeah. in coming uh, live streams. Mm. Mm. Okay, uh, questions. If I buy a B1001 today, can I retrofit the hydraulic uh, myself? Yes, of course you can. It's all built in uh, modules and the, the, all the future accessories will be able to retrofit to the existing or older benzo mills. Yes, what will the hydraulics cost for, cost for the B1001? Uh, that's something we will uh, publish closer to launch. Mm. When we have uh, everything set for the hydraulics. Uh, I have recently purchased a timber jig. I like the logosol tools that you screw into the end of the log and connect the ruler and move them in uh, 90 degree steps around the log. I have a uh, two and a half meter ruler from an uh, M8. Can I use this ruler with the logosol tools? Uh, if it's the, um, the guide rail holders <coughs> you are referring to, you can purchase only the guide rail holders and use your uh, guide rail that you have from the M7 or M8. Mm -hmm. So no problem? No, it's the same kind of uh, rail system we have today, even though we have them in one meter uh, length today. Yes. So no more questions at the moment. Oh, we have a comment in Spanish. But no one of us three can don't speak me. Spanish. Don't. <laughs> can you answer? Yeah. <laughs> I only can one word. But but please, if you understand this, Eugenio, please send us an email on uh, info at logosol.com. We have a Spanish-speaking colleague that can help you out. Yes. Mm? Anton. Anton. Good. So... It's great to be on with Mondays again. Yeah, yes. lovely. Great afternoon. Yes. A bit it's cold, a, a bit chilly, but yes. still nice, uh, mm -hmm. nice not, weather. Not that windy, but sunny. And sunny. <laughs> but sunny. But sunny. <laughs> windy, but sunny. Or <laughs> not, <laughs> not windy. Or. So uh, have a look on the on inf uh, info at logosul.com. You can send <laughs> us an email if you email to info at logosul.com. Or you can check out our homepage uh, at logosul.com and find the campaign, uh, all products that we sell and prices and more information. Uh, take the opportunity to invest in a sawmill now. Now is the time uh, we have high demand at the moment so place your order as soon as possible. We are looking forward to it. So and uh, we have a live stream next Monday as well. Yes. 
So stay tuned for that. And yeah, yeah. that's all for today, I think. For today. We've had some fun um, using the bandsaw mill, the LM410. Uh, Anders played around with the uh, chainsaw quite a lot. That was also fun. That was very fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so take care and see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.